Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got a little hover effect for you today. We've been creating various different buttons and we've got a little icon button down here. When you hover over it, it's going to expand. And obviously click on it, take people wherever you want. We've got a color change there and a width change going on. No coding involved in this today. No plugins involved. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme to do this. Really easy. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down to where I want to work. I've got a row here with two columns in it. And I'm using a blurb module for this button today. It's a custom built button. So let's add a blurb module. Put whatever your button wants to say here. And I'm going to delete the actual content. You can put dual lines of text in your button this way if you want to. Let's move this over here so we can see what's going on. There's our blurb module. I'm going to go down to image and icon right here. I'm going to hit the use icon button because I want it to initially just be an icon. Uh, go down and choose the appropriate icon for whatever it is your button's trying to say. Let's just put that in today. As you can see, it's popped that in there. Link, obviously, this is where you want to link your button. Put the link in the module so any way you click on it, it's going to work rather than the title itself. And normal best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're going off site, put it in a new tab so yours stays open. Okay, give it the background color of your choice here. Start off with perhaps blue this time. Okay, let's go over to our design tab and start arranging things. I'm on the design, I'm going to go to image and icon. First thing I want to do, I'm going to make that icon white, but I want it to be on the left hand side. So let's pop it over to the left with icon placement there. There we go, fantastic. You can make it bigger or smaller with icon font size. I'm going to leave mine pretty much like that. Now this text we've got here is title text. So let's go into the title text. I'm going to make that semi bold so we can see it a bit better and make it a lighter color. Now I want to kind of align it with that little icon that we've got going there. So to do that, let's go down to our line height right here. You can start incrementing up with the little arrows until it's about where you want it. One point eight, perhaps. And don't worry about the difference in height. We're going to take care of that in sizing in a minute. Okay. Well, let's give our button a little bit of padding all round. We'll do that with spacing. So if we roll down some more, I'm going to give it. 10 pixels all around. Just put in the 10, it puts in the pixels for you. Hit the chain. I'm going to do the same left and right also. Great. Now we've got a very long looking button there. We'll make it the shape that we actually want it using sizing. So if we go up above spacing here, we've got sizing. Now width, let's just make it the width that we want it. Try 60, probably not enough. No, it's actually too much. And we can pull it down with the little arrows till it's about the size we want. I want similar sort of space to the right of the icon as they've got to the left there. Yeah, I think 53 is going to do it. And we'll do the same with the height down below. So let's give it the same. So it's kind of a square. That's great. Now we can pop them in the middle. Let's roll back up a bit and pop them in the middle. Fantastic. Now, if you wanted to at this stage, you could make that a circle or give it rounded corners using borders if you wanted to. Give it sort of a high value of say 50. It makes it into a circle right there. As long as you've got that chain linked, it'll do all four sides at once for you. I'm happy to have it just like it is. And common to most Divi modules, if you do something you want it to go back to how it was, just delete it. It'll go to the default value for you. Okay. 
Well, we've got our regular state. Now, when we hover over it, we want it to grow so they can see the writing, the message on the button there. So let's go back up to our sizing. And for width, if we hover over, again, common to most Divi modules, you'll find some icons appear. If there's an arrow, it's going to allow you to set a desktop state when your mouse is not on it and a hover state when they put their mouse on it. For the hover state, I'm going to make it longer so they can read the writing. And again, just slide the slider up or type in the value till it's the length that you want it. Let's try 180. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Obviously, you make yours as long as you need to for your text. And also, using the width here, you can make buttons all a common width and not dependent on the amount of text they've got in there. So you can have more or less text and have them the same width, which is great. So that's the hover state. If we go back to the desktop state, it's going to go back to the square, which is fine. Um, I just want to color change it. So when they're not hovering over, it's going to be blue. And let's change the color on hover. To do that, go back to the content, to the background. And we'll do the same thing. Roll up, little arrow icon. When they hover over it, let's make it purple. There we go. So non-hover state, hover state. And to make it a little more dramatic, I like to slow it down because it's going to take 300 milliseconds to grow from this to this, which is pretty quick, under a third of a second. For drama, I'm just going to slow it down a bit. So go over to advanced, transition, transition duration. Let's give it, say, 650. Entirely up to you. Just put in the number. It'll put in the milliseconds for you. Don't want any delay. And I'm going to use ease in, ease out. That way, when we take your mouse off it, it'll ease back to where it was. OK, if we've done everything correctly now, that should now work. Let's save our changes. Save our page changes down here. And exit the Visual Builder. And there we go, there's our little button. When we hover over it, we can click it. When we take our mouse back off, it's going to go back to how it was. Really simple but effective effect there. So that's how to create an expanding button with an icon using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme. Really easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.